Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I got my Justice League shirt on. I don't know why it doesn't have uh, Wonder Woman on it. It has The Flash, Batman, Superman, and The Green Lantern. I don't know why it doesn't have Wonder Woman. I would have preferred Wonder Woman to take the place of either The Flash or Green Lantern, but I'm not going to go heavy into it. Uh, me being mad that this shirt doesn't have doesn't have Wonder Woman, seeing how this is a Justice League shirt. But what I will go into, speaking of the Justice League, one of my friends was telling me yesterday, "Hey Phil, have you seen the new Justice League trailer?" What? There was the new Justice League trailer, and I did not know about it. What the fuck? I'm so mad. Like, why did I know about this? So, what I will do... Uh, Justice League. I'm gonna find the trailer... On YouTube. What's the found of the trailer on YouTube? To be it's gonna be on HBO Max. I don't know if I'm, like... See... I'm a bit, I'm a com I'm a big like comic book nerd. Like I'm more into like the comic book mo based movies than I am into like reading more comic books. But I still kind of consider myself as a comic book nerd because I do read comic books. So Wonder Woman, like not Wonder Woman. So when we quick recaps before I go into the actual trailer. When the Snyder Cut of the Justice League was announced, I was like, okay, I mean, I wasn't the, on the side of, hey, we should get the Snyder Cut, but I was an anti-Snyder Cut, and what I mean by that is that I wasn't really focal on which side that I want, was on in terms of pro-Snyder Cut or anti-Snyder Cut, if that makes sense. And... The more and more that I think about it, the more and more in my, I am set, in my head I was am thinking that I am pro Snyder Cut. Because let's face it, the Just League movie that was in the theaters could have been better. Could have been better. And hopefully, the Snyder Cut's version of the Just League is better. But enough said. I've been rambling on for pretty much three minutes now. And like three seconds from now, it's going to be three minutes. Let's play the trailer. Here we go. The bells already been wrong. A oh, Wonder Woman with Lex Luthor's voice. Okay. And they've heard it. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta feel this full screen for me. But in the dark, among the stars. <laughs> Is that dark side? Shit, okay, only on HBO Max, okay. Why is it 34 seconds long? I gotta say it one more time, I gotta say it one more time. The bells already been wrong. And they've heard it. But in the dark, among the stars. <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. This is awesome. I wonder if they're gonna bring back Superman in uh, the Snyder's Cut version like they did in the original version. And I wonder how. I really do. Because I still personally think it was too early in the game to kill Superman off. Because the DCEU was still a pretty new thing when Batman v Superman came out. At the time, we only had Man of Steel. And maybe that was about it. Man of Steel was the only movie. And Suicide Squad, I believe, was out too at the time. 
might have came out like shortly after Batman vs Superman. I kind of forget, but I remember Suicide Squad released like either shortly before or shortly after. Uh, I think it was shortly after Batman vs Superman. So never mind. So I think it was like before Batman vs Superman. It was only like there was only one movie in the DCEU, and that was Man of Steel. So. I like I said. I think it was too soon to have killed off Superman. Now, if they decided to kill off Superman in Justice League, for example, where we have at the moment Batman vs Superman, Man of Steel one, which I've heard that they're planning to make a sequel. I don't know if that's true or not. We have an Aquaman movie, a Shazam movie, a Suicide Squad movie. A Birds of Prey movie. I haven't seen Birds of Prey, but I heard bad reviews of it. We have six movies out. Six movies out. In the DCEU. The I'm going to discount the original Justice League for argument's sake. So, let's say we have six movies. In the seventh movie... Being the Justice League, I feel like with the seventh movie, we can kind of get away with them killing off Superman. Because we're seven movies in. Yes, we aren't really that attached to this version Superman yet. But I feel like we... I feel like they would have been able to get away with it a bit more now. Than they would have been by the time Batman vs. Superman came out. Which was like the second film in the DCEU slate. And correct me if I'm wrong about that. So. I mean they can get away with it more now. I mean they there still probably be, would have been backlash with some fans thinking it's too soon. I, I would agree. Might have been. A little bit premature, but not as premature as cutting him off in the second DCU movie. But yeah, I like I said, I wonder if they're going to resurrect Superman. And I wonder if uh, Ben Affleck's going to be Bruce Wayne again. I was watching this one video, I think it was on Popcorn Planet, where they were saying that they should have had the Flash movie. Regardless if it's going to be Ezra Miller or someone else playing the Flash in the Flash movie, because uh, what happened to Ezra Miller? I don't know if he's going to still be the Flash or not. I wonder. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. They were saying about how in this video that I think was on Popcorn Planet, now I am thinking about it more, where they said, somebody said on that video that I'm referring to, that they think that, crap, but I don't know why I'm having a brain fart, but no, 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 now I remember, that they were playing, that they should have had it where... The Flash kind of did the whole multi-first thing. Kind of like how the Arrow first has it, where they have different Earths. Which is, Earths are like different dimensions. And they do do... They actually do... They, actually, they are actually have... They are kind of heavy-handed in the multi-first, in the Arrow first, especially the Flash show. I mean, there's like Earth 2, which is like... The most prominent Earth that the Arrowverse characters will go to, specifically the Flash. There are different versions of Harry Wells that we've seen in the Flash show. We've seen different like versions of Superman in the Arrowverse. There's the Supergirl Flash. I mean, Supergirl, Supergirl version Superman, like the TV show. There's the Brandon Routh Superman that we got to see in Crisis Among Infinite Earths. And the small feel in Crisis on Infinite Earths. We saw Kevin Conroy's version of Batman. And 
Tarovers, and we are getting, even though he, the Arrowverse Bruce Wayne hasn't come in, come out yet, but we have an actor who's going to be the Bruce Wayne of the Arrowverse, even though he's horse still Batwoman. Uh, I'm trying to think of, there's different versions of the Flash, and uh, we saw uh, the guy who played Robin in the Adam West version Batman make a cameo in the Arrow first as well. I keep in mind the same guy who did uh, Barry Allen's Flash uh, father was also the Flash in this live action TV show that was out like what 20 years ago? 20, 30 years ago? That he even made a uh, comeback to playing his version of Barry Allen in Elseworld and Crisis. Which was great. So, the reason why I'm referencing the Arrowverse doing that is because, yeah, I can see their point, the video I'm referencing's point that, yeah, they should have used the flashes like, to explain. To introduce the like whole multiverse type deal, so that way, if like like say, Ben Affleck wanted to be the Batman again, he can without there being continuity errors or risking to be any confusion among the fans, and that way Robert Pattinson can still be the Batman. Oh. I guess it can say the new 52 version. Or the new Earth Prime for the DCU. Or whatever you want to call it, Robert Pattinson. So. Yeah, I. I I'm excited for the Justice League. Uh. That's the only reason why I would be uh, getting HBO Max because of the Just League. After, after I'm done watching the uh, Just League, I wouldn't really care most about keeping HBO Max to be honest. And I think it's gonna be like four parts, so that's gonna be interesting. So it's gonna be like a mini series. And I think they're going to be like an hour or two long. So it's definitely going to be like a mini series. And. It'll be interesting. To see which version. Will be canon. For the DCEU. Assuming that they don't go the whole. Different dimension. Different Earth's route. Like the Arrowverse. Does. For canon I mean. Guess like I said, if they go with the whole multiverse with the Flash show, uh, movie, then that opens up to many things. We already we already got a hint of a potential crossover between the DCEU and the Arrowverse in Crisis when Ezra Miller's Flash Flash met the Grant Gustin's Flash. So, you can kind of say that that was a hint of the multiverse, but that was for the Arrowverse, and by then, the multiverse has already been established ever since, like, season two of The Flash. So, my point is... I'll be up for a multi, like the Flash movie opening the doors way doors to the multiverse. That way we can kind of still follow the Robert Pattinson's Batman, and if uh Bat Batflag decides to come back, he can be Batman too, and maybe we can get a movie version. Of Crisis of Infinite Earths. With the DCEU t characters. If that makes sense. And maybe who knows. Maybe we'll be able to get 
Steve and Mel to come back as Green Arrow because I've heard that he's has no plans to come back as the Green Arrow in the Arrow first, so maybe we can like if the multiverse thing happens in DCU, maybe we can get Steve and Mel to reprise his role as the Green Arrow. Do you know how many fans, present party included, would be happy if that happens? Like seriously? But yeah, I'm I'm honestly interested in what they're going to do with it. Uh, with the uh, just like like move, movie like the TCU moving forward after the Justice League Snyder Cut is done, and I'm excited to see the just uh, the Snyder Cut too. Hopefully, it will come out on DVD. I know like Stranger Things, who is a Netflix original. I heard I know well I know because I've seen them having DVD slash Blu-rays on. In Target and Walmart, that they have, they I can buy them on DVD, di- potentially digital. But well, why do I need to buy them digital when I have Netflix? And D- DVD and Blu-ray. I don't know what I said earlier. That's why I said it again. But yeah, so if Stranger Things can come on on DVD slash Blu-ray slash the digital, I'm hoping the Snyder Cut version would have the same treatment because I'm actually interested from that what 26 second video 46 second video that I'm interested in what Zack Snyder does with the Justice League now that he's able to put his vision into works I mean yeah, I, I'm aware that when he was going to do the Justice League originally, that unfortunately he had a family emergency, and again, sorry for your loss, the Snyder family. So him back in way was understandable. The least that they could have done, though, the company, the Warner Brothers, DCU, could have done was kept his vision alive. Yeah, there might have been a few changes here and there in the story but at least keep the story alive like keep the keep what Zack Snyder wanted in the actual theatrical release like for the most part at least don't just like uh do this okay I'm gonna ball it up bye they should they should have treated him better like his vision better, especially with him having to, with him going through something hard. And it w- would be hard on anyone with what he had to go through. But that's just me. That's my opinion. But long story short, I am excited to see Zack Snyder's version of the Justice League. And I am hoping that we will be able to get uh, like this multi first in the DCU, like having getting the multi first introduced at some point in the DCEU. That way, fans, more fans, can be okay. With the actor change. Because Robert Pattinson is going to be the younger person of Bruce Wayne. And. I feel like some people will go like. Huh? And it will only make sense if. We get a Flashpoint movie. Maybe let's say. we The Flashpoint movie is all about. The Flash going back in time. Trying to save his mother. Going back to the present. And maybe in this version, Thomas Wayne is Bruce Wayne. I mean, where I had a Thomas Wayne being Bruce Wayne in the animated uh, Flashpoint movie, and I had Martha Wayne being uh, the Joker, maybe we can get those two, Mar- uh, Martha Wayne Joker, Thomas Wayne Batman in the Flashpoint, and then we get to see Barry Allen saying, oh shit. So the only way that 
the universe will be okay as if I let my mother die. And then he goes back in time, befriends himself, his past self, to save his mother. And then when Barry Allen goes back in the present, some things change. Like for example, Bruce Wayne being a bit younger. And yes, I kind of got this over like this idea about him going back in time, fucking things like pretty much fucking thinks oh just because he wants to save his mother and then going back to the present and something changed from the arrow first tv show flash but we but that you gotta admit that's a pretty good concept to see and that will be like a that would justify the younger bruce wayne bruce wayne because maybe okay maybe Maybe it's the same universe, and ma but Bruce Wayne is younger. Maybe in this universe, yeah, the Justice League is, has already formed, but Martian Manhunter is a part of the founding members of the Justice League, besides Batman and Wonder Woman being the founding members of the Justice League. You can easily sneak the, the Morrison Manhunter being one of the founding members to the f whole idea I had for Flashpoint. Which I... Which, if you're watching this, uh, Warner Brothers, please make this happen. Because that would be awesome. And if you do it well... You know how many people will be talking about you guys over Marvel? Like, your rival company? It's like, ooh! Like... For a while, Marvel was doing good, but now, oh, that Flashpoint movie, oh, the DCEU could be better than the MCU, oh, you know, that type of feeling. But that's just me. I don't know what you guys want. Let me know in the uh, comment section down below. And are you guys excited about the Justice League movie, or is that the Snyder's cut first on the Justice League? Let me know in the comment section below. Love you all. Be kind to one another. Be safe out there in these crazy times. And I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all and have a wonderful day. See ya.